If you have an online business or are thinking of starting one, it may be helpful to have a peek on how much people are spending monthly in the apps that they use for their business. So for that purpose, I'm gonna share in this video, first, how I keep track of everything that I'm subscribed to, the exact apps that I need to run my six-figure consulting business, and in the end, how much I spend. So let's get into it. To me personally, it gives me great peace of mind to know how much I'm gonna spend every month in these kind of things. Maybe it's because I'm a freak of control, but yes, I need to know this. But and the way that I track it is super simple. Let me show you. By the way, you will be able to find the template, this one that we are seeing right now, in the description of the video. So this is very simple. First, we have the name of the service. Second, how much we are paying monthly. So even if we are paying yearly, but I will write here how much that is monthly. Next, which is the first day in which we are paying. So it doesn't matter if it's the first or not, just the day in which the next payment is gonna be due. So we can, we can write it here, all the dates or the date of the latest payment, doesn't matter. Here, the periodicity. Typically, this is the ones that I have encountered month, quarter, and year. And then this is two formulas. This is gonna tell me uh, when is the next payment date. So in this case, for example, the first day was December 14, and this is paid every month. So the next one is gonna be January 14, because today is January 13. Then how much is the next payment, which if it's monthly, is gonna be the same, but if it's yearly, it's gonna multiply the monthly by 12, super simple. If it's quarterly, it's gonna multiply by four. That's it. And finally, the type. Here, because I'm mixing my personal and my professional uh, subscriptions, so this is how, why I do it. But if you are just tracking professional, for example, you can get rid of this property. And then finally, just comments. And one thing that is super helpful for me is the URL where I can take the invoices of these apps from, because this is gonna help me in my accounting. Um, so yeah, to calculate how much time I'm spending and to those to send it to the government and, and all this unsexy stuff. So yes, this is the this is the setup and it's uh, super simple as you can see. So now before I jump into which apps I'm using for my business, I would like to throw a word of caution because it is very easy to subscribe to apps and the more and more apps that you're gonna be subscribed to, the more you're gonna pay. This is pretty self-explanatory and very obvious, but I'm using a filter to avoid from subscribing to more apps that I need. And the filter that I use is very simple. These kind of apps can either help us save time or make more money. So this is what I'm gonna use to filter apps that I'm gonna subscribe to. If what the app costs me per hour that the app is going to save me is lower than the hourly rate that I set for myself, then it makes sense for me to subscribe to the app. Or conversely, if I'm gonna make more per month thanks to the app versus what I'm paying monthly, then again, it makes total sense to go with it. And from the list that I'm gonna share with you now, I have gone through this filter and all the apps pass the filter. And I'm a little bit embarrassed of how many apps there is here, but okay, let's get started. Okay, so the order in which I'm gonna do it is I'm gonna start from the cheapest all the way to the most expensive one. Okay, so first of all, it is my domains that I'm paying 60 cents per month for each of the three domains that I own which is danicanosa.com, which I'm currently not really using, but I'm still paying for it. This did, doesn't really pass the filter, but I already have so many automations and, and I'm using the email. Uh, so yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna keep it, I'm lazy. And the other two is denotionacademy.com, which I'm using for hosting my online course, and systemify.co, which is the website that I use for my consulting services. The next one is freedom.com. I'm paying two euros per month, and what this app allows me to do is to block the set of websites and apps that I set for a certain amount of time. And it works both on desktop and on my cell phone. So this means whenever I'm gonna start a focused task, I'm gonna set this on. And it is impossible for me to go scroll on Twitter because Twitter is not going to work or to scroll through my email because email is not going to open. So this app saves me a ton of time and it's super cheap. Next one is LastPass. This is a password manager. It will be kind of difficult to calculate how much time I'm saving with this app, but the peace of mind that I have, that I don't have to remember any of my passwords, it's worth the 252 that I pay monthly. Next one is my Google business subscription for systemify.co. And this in order to simply have a, an email connected to that domain. So I can send emails with that domain and I look more pro. And for this, I'm paying 5.2 euros per month. Cause I think during the first year, it is half price, but then it's like 10, 40 or something. 
Next one in the list is Canonly. This is an app that I use all the time to share with potential clients or for people that want to meet me. And it's basically a calendar scheduling app. So I have set here the scheduling which I want to be available for calls and people will just book a time with me. Simple. This, I cannot count the amount of time that is saving me, but for sure more than what I'm paying because I'm paying 6.67 euros per month because I pay yearly, so that's why it's a strange number. But yeah, it basically saves me all the back and forth of, hey, when are you available? I'm available this time. Oh, this time I'm not available. I'm available this other. So yes, 100% recommended. Next one in the list is Readwise. For this app, I'm paying 7.73 euros per month. What I use this app for is to connect it to my Kindle. So every book that I highlight on my Kindle goes directly to my Obsidian Vault because there is where I go to play with the ideas that came out from books and to write my newsletter. And yeah, it is where I store all my all my knowledge. So there is a way to import the highlights from Kindle. There is a way to export the highlights to Obsidian. And once exported, this is how they look. These all the books that I have brought through this method. And this is all the highlights neatly organized. So is this making me money? I don't know, but I want to keep it, honestly. <laughs> this is the only one probably that doesn't uh, pass this filter. But yeah, most often than not, I'm using ideas from books in my newsletter. So I believe that this indirectly makes me some money, but I'm not really sure. Next one is the messaging app Slack that I pay $8.25 per month. And this I'm using to connect with clients and throughout the life of our project together is the platform that we use for communicating with people that are outside of your Slack channel, uh, you need to pay. So yes, it's $8.25. Next one is Loom. Loom, I cannot think the amount of time that this app saves me. So basically it's an app that you just can invoke through the extension over here and you can just start uh, recording a video and once you finish recording you're gonna have a url that you will be able to share with whoever so i use it all the time for all the customer support for example people ask me uh, questions about templates so i respond them through loom or even the the guides that i embed inside of my notion templates they're all recorded in loom so you can see the humongous amount of videos that I'm saving here. And for this app, I pay $8.87 per month. Next, we have the gist. This I pay nine euros per month. And it's basically an automation tool that is listening to certain events in Notion, such as uh, status change, for example, so that whenever that status changes to what I said, this is gonna trigger an automation somewhere else in Zapier or in make.com or something like this. So yeah, basically what this allows me is to start automations from within Notion. And yeah, they have one rule for free, but I'm using a couple or three of them. So yeah, I'm paying nine euros per month uh, for, for this app. That's, in my opinion, everything that is automations related is always worth it because this always saves time and brings peace of mind. Next in the list is an app with the same price, nine euros per month, which is called Wine App. You need a budget. So I use this app because it's the only app that I have found that can connect to all my banks. It is a budgeting app and allows me to have all my finances always under control. So how much I'm spending in each category, where the money is, like the transfers between accounts, like everything is handled there. And which is also very cool is that they have an API. So every time that I receive or I spend money, I, I will be able to, by using the, an automation tool, which in this case is Zapier, to bring that data into my Notion. And there is where I'm storing all the movements of my finances. And I can have the full overview of how much I'm earning, how much I'm spending and, and all this sexy stuff. So yeah, WineUp is the app that makes possible to have all of that automated. And as I said before, if it's an automation, it is totally worth it. Next in the list is Hype Fury. This is a Twitter scheduling tool. And this one, honestly, I'm thinking whether to keep it or not. The truth is that I have already paid yearly for this one, so I still have some time to, to decide. But yeah, I don't know, because I'm not using Twitter as much as I was using it before. So so yeah, but basically what this app allows me to do is to have a set schedule in which I want to post tweets and I will just have to write them here and add to the queue. For me, this is magical because I can just write, schedule, write, schedule, write, schedule. And the app is going to schedule them in the slots that I have set beforehand. So I don't have to care about setting the schedule uh, by myself manually. Also, there is this uh, other view that brings me some inspiration. So maybe I can get some idea from tweets 
and write my own. But yeah, as I said, I don't know if this one I'm gonna keep, but I'm paying nine euros and seven cents per month. Next one is an accounting app that works here in Spain, which is called Factura Directa. And for this app, I'm paying 10 euros per month. Basically what this app is doing is just generating invoices and do the accounting of my business. So super unsexy, but it's needed. Next one is one of my favorite apps of all time, which is Make.com. I'm paying only 10 euros for this app, which for me is bonkers and this a pure automation tool. So I'm using it for everything, for sending all the sales from my Gumroad to Notion, uh, for generating my habit tracker days, for uh, listening to my Stripe payments and send them to Notion, link expenses, uh, linking my online course that is in Teachable to Notion, all kinds of stuff. So yes, you're gonna automate a hell ton of things here and, and it is only 10 euros per month. Next is my other Google Business uh, subscription, which is for my danicanosa.com domain. So it's also for having this, this email, like danny at danicanosa.com, that I use to look more professional. I should just keep one of them, but since I have so many things set up already in danicanosa.com, I don't wanna bother. But yeah, this I, I should simplify and just use the systemify.com, but well, maybe in the future. Next one is super.so that I'm paying 12 per month. And what this uh, allows me to do is to basically use Notion as my website backend. So basically I can have my website here in Notion. In my case, it looks like this. This is also a service that we do in Systemify. So to create websites like this. And then if we pass it through super.so, this is how it looks like. Pretty beautiful, with a beautiful CSS, fully functional, with videos and stuff. Next one in the list is Zoom, which I'm paying 12.5 euros per month. And I decided to pay for this because, I mean, if you don't pay, you can just have meetings as long as 40, 45 or 40 minutes. And yeah, so all, all my all my client calls are longer than this. And, and also mm, they give some cloud storage so I can store the recordings there. And then I can send these recordings to my clients automatically because they also have an API. So for me, this, uh, this tool is, is great, it's amazing. So yes, and it is a must for, for what I do for consulting clients. So yes, it is a must. Next one in the list that it is not really a software subscription, but it's something that I pay for um, yearly in this case, but it's a Spain community of entrepreneurs, which cost me 12.5 euros as well. So this is basically to network with local people here because if you're an entrepreneur, uh, you will also understand that you sometimes feel a little bit lonely because not so many people do what we do. So it is very, very good to, yes, to meet like-minded people physically, not just online. And yeah, this is what this community brings me. Next one, it is Sapier. This is another automation tool that, that can do different things from make com so that's why I'm using both and for Sapier I'm paying 20 euros per month. Sapier is a little bit more expensive with less features so in order to do the same that I could do in, in Make I will have to pay I don't know like 40 or 50 euros per month which I decided not to so yes I'm, I'm currently using both and in my case I, I need it but yes as I said if it is automation it's gonna be worth it because for sure this is gonna save me more than 20 euros per month that is that is costing me. Next in the list is another community. This one is purely online. And in all honesty, I'm just there to look for clients. So I'm paying 21 euros per month. The community is called Utopia. And yes, so it is a community that I'm, that I'm just there trying to help and also uh, for getting consulting clients. Next one, and this is already the top three. It is the monthly payment for an, from an accounting company that helps me with all my accounting there. They resolve me doubts and, and so on. And I'm paying 35 euros per month. So I have a dedicated assistant and I can chat with her uh, at all times. They also present my taxes uh, to the government and, and all this stuff. So yeah, this saves me a ton of time. And even if not, I hate dealing with all that shit. So yeah, I prefer that someone else handles that. Next one in the top two, it is Teachable. Teachable is the platform that I'm using for hosting my online course, the Notion Academy. And this comes out at now 59 euros per month. This is the cheapest plan. Before it was 39, because I am paying monthly. I don't know why I'm doing it. But yeah, now they have increased it to 59 euros per month. And well, since this course is making more than that, so this will pass the money filter. So, so, so I'm keeping it. 
And finally, ConvertKit. ConvertKit is a beast of an email marketing platform. You can do a lot of different automations, tagging. Uh, it is also the tool that I use for my weekly newsletter that if you want to join, you can join in the description of this video in which I talk all about uh, business systems, automations, and all this stuff that I find super sexy. So, so yeah, uh, the amount that you pay for ConvertKit depends on the number of subscribers that you have. Now that I'm past 3,000, I'm paying 79 uh, euros per month. But yeah, the more subscribers that you have, the more that you pay. I believe from zero to 1,000, it is free, which is a, a very a very good perk that they, that they have, that if you don't have an audience, uh, you don't need to pay. But, but yeah, so far for me, it is 79. And if you have been following me for a while, you know that I'm always talking about, about Notion and you are not seeing Notion in this list. So this is one of the perks of being a, a certified consultant because we don't pay for Notion. They, they already uh, give us a, a pro account for free. So yes, I didn't need to, to include it in the list. So yeah, the total amount of all these apps that I just talked about, it is 351 euros per month. I mean, if I was getting started, probably I wouldn't subscribe to so many. I would prefer to use my time and save some money. But yes, I've been doing this for, for two years and, and the income is, is much bigger than, than this expense. So in my case, it is completely worth it because it, it is also saving me um, the cost to hire a, a virtual assistant, for example, in some cases. So yeah, I don't doubt that is a... Uh, uh, a good investment. So if you have been watching until this point, probably you're a business owner that are interested in saving time by using systems and automation and all of this. So check out this video over here in which I show how a business system can look in Notion and all the time that you're going to save. So that is it for today, guys. And as always, hasta la próxima.